Hello everybody, this is AG here on AG the channel, and uh, this is something a little bit different here for this channel, but uh, I'm doing this here on this channel, so you all are aware that I do it on another channel. Um, probably about a month and a half ago, I started uh, a little side project pulling sports cards, and uh, I love it. I think it's a lot of fun. And uh, if you were over there and uh, saw when we pulled the hobby box of the 2023 Donruss Racing cards, you may have seen that I pulled this. This is a Dale Earnhardt Jr. Gold Foil Optic Prism One of One. This was a great pull from that hobby box from the uh, 2023 NASCAR set. I put it in a one-touch case finally, so it's nice and protected now. But uh, I'm going to do a card pull on this channel so you guys kind of get an idea of what's going on over there, over there. And if you're interested, of course, go ahead and check it out. I'm trying to grow the channel a little bit and to have a little fun with it. I've been pulling a lot of score 2023 football. I've been pulling some baseball cards this year as well. Of course, like I mentioned, we pulled the hobby box of the 2023 Donruss Racing set. And uh, we got ourselves two value packs that I picked up at Target of the same set so we're gonna have to see what we get here um, of course when it comes to retail packs you're not as likely to get uh, cool finds like this Dale Jr. Optic I kind of keep showing this on camera this is just I still can't get over that I have a 101 it's cool um, but we're still going to you know see what we end up pulling here in these uh, packs and I'm excited to show you guys uh, what's been going on over on the card pull channel so here we go for our first of two value packs here. I picked these up uh, today. Uh, they were $7 each. Uh, I already have a decent amount of these cards, um, but I uh, decided to uh, get some more and want to expand my collection here uh, for this set. So we got ourselves Justin Allgaier in the base, Dale Jarrett in the base. There's Kyle Busch's car in the base, Greg Biffle. Of course, this set has uh, a lot of veterans and uh, newer drivers and modern drivers as well. Austin Dillon there. Mike Harmon, Applebee's man. He's in this set. Got Bill Elliott. Takuma Koga as a rated rookie. I don't know if he's really been racing much lately. Jimmy Johnson, and it's one of the many cards he has in this set. Landon Castle. And then we got Clint Boyer in the retro. Got a Race Kings of Denny Hamlin. This is actually still a base card. Sheldon Creed in the retro, Chris Busher in the retro, Natalie Decker with the retro scheme, and all these are still base cards as well. Terry Labonte, Martin Truex Jr. Race Kings, Alex Bowman retro, Ty Gibbs retro, Derek Krauss retro, and it looks like we got ourselves a numbered card right here. I can tell, and I know it may not look any different uh, than these other cards that we're pulling. Uh, but this looks like a red parallel of Ricky Stenhouse Jr., the retro. And uh, we do have ourselves a number on here, number 253 to 299. So that's pretty cool right there. We're going to pop that in a little sleeve to protect it. I like protecting the numbered cards. And, hey, this next card, this next card is uh, is is the card. It is the card. Um, not, not the 101, but uh, definitely a great pull. Uh, because it is, of course, as you all know, I'm a huge Grant Enfinger fan. Well, we pulled the Grant Enfinger Carolina Blue Parallel. These are not numbered, but I never pulled a Grant Enfinger card when we did the Hobby Box over on the Card Pull channel. Well, guess what? Now we got it, and I am happy we do. Uh, definitely a great pull right there, Carolina Blue Parallel. Of course, this is a base card with the parallel on it. Um, not numbered, of course, but still, Grant Enfinger is my favorite driver, and this is definitely a keeper right here, no doubt about it. We also got another Carolina Blue Parallel with Chase Briscoe, and then we got our inserts here. We got Elite Series of Daniel Suarez, got an Under the Lights of Christopher Bell. Uh, I think we pulled one of these um, in the hobby box, but it looks a little bit different. It's got that gold foil there. I don't remember that being uh, the case. Maybe that is a parallel. I'm just not aware of it. Unleashed of Daniel Suarez. We got Kevin Harvick in the Elite Series. We got a flipped over card right here. That's always a good sign when you got a flipped over card. Let's see uh, if this thing's any anything special. We got Jimmy Johnson Power Squad. And... I think the foil is different. There's no number on here, but uh, I'm going to kind of fake this out there a little bit. 
maybe it is something special and uh, we're just not aware of it. We got an optic here of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And that's kind of like Topps Chrome in a way for uh, Panini. And then we got ourselves a Kurt Busch blue foil optic. I don't think these are uh, numbered, but an optic prism. So they got the regular optics and they got the optic prism cards as well. And then each of the packs comes with these uh, little code cards to win a, an experience of the Daytona 500. If you want to go ahead and put that in, you're welcome to do so. I've, I haven't put any of the ones that I've gotten in. Um, but hey, that's a little taste of what you can get. And like I said, these were $7 at the uh, at the Target. So uh, not a bad pull. Of course, the hobby boxes were $80 when I got them. Um, and we had so many numbered cards like this Ricky Stenhouse Jr. numbered card right here. Uh, definitely a lot of fun. And of course, we got this Grand Enfinger Carolina Blue Parallel as well. And obviously, big Grand Enfinger fans. So we'll put those in the background and we'll see what we get here in the second pack. Excited to see what we can find. I do believe that these optics here, the uh, Kurt Busch uh, Blue Foil Optic uh, Prism is exclusive to the retail packs. Um, so you won't find those in the hobby box. So they'll do that, you know, in the retail packs. We'll put uh, special cards in there that are exclusive to the retail packs. Of course, the hobby boxes where you're going to find the good stuff usually. Uh, no thick cards here, so we don't have any relics. We uh, pulled two relics from the hobby box. You know, begin here with Christopher Bell in the base. John Hunter Nemechek, Dale Earnhardt Jr. That is not the same card as I got the uh, the gold foil optic. Denny Hamlin, Brett Moffitt, Denny Hamlin again, Sam Mayer, Harry Gant with the uh, historic card. Of course, it's still a base card there. Noah Gregson, yikes. Uh, Mark Martin, Noah Gregson again. Jimmy Johnson, Chase Elliott, Joey Gase, Michael McDowell, Garrett Smithley, Harry Gant again. William Byron with the Race Kings, Austin Sindrick, Josh Berry, we got a gray parallel. These are not numbered, but a gray parallel with Casey Kane. We got a Garrett Smithley Carolina Blue. And then we also have a Joey Gase Carolina Blue parallel. Revved up. This is an insert for Kyle Busch. Solid little card right there, but that's uh, just an insert. Power Squad of Joey Logano. And I did just realize that um, that... Jimmy Johnson Power Squad card is actually, I think, an optic. No, it's a little different. There's no number on it, so definitely makes it a little uh, unique. Um, different foil. It's got that checkered checkered flag foil on it there, but like I said, no numbered on it. Uh, no number on it, so it's not uh, too rare, I don't think. But a pretty cool pull right there. Um, this is just the base Power Squad for Joey Logano. Metal Masters for Denny Hamlin as an insert. Got an Unleashed here of Kevin Harvick. Oh, here's a flipped over card. And this is, this is number. Actually, no, I don't know if this is number. This says E8. I think this is an Elite Series. And just like the Jimmy Johnson's got that checkered pattern on it. So uh, probably put one of these per pack. And we'll see what our optics are. We got Joey Logano in the regular optic and then Richard Petty in the blue foil optic. So these are a, just a taste of what the retail packs are. You don't get as many hits in these as you do, say, in the hobby box. But uh, definitely a cool little set, no doubt about it. Uh, I like the design on them, and uh, I'm glad we finally pulled the Grand Enfinger as well. And then we get one numbered card with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in the retro uh, 253 of 299, so a cool pull right there. So, yes, this is what we do over on the Card Pool channel. I don't really have any official schedule over there, but we pull all kinds of cards and all that. Have a lot of fun with it, and if you guys are interested, I recommend going over and checking it out. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, we got the Watkins Glen Super Weekend coming up starting tomorrow. We got something from Watkins Glen every single day of this week going up to Saturday with the Like Effect Ice Cream 400K. So thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I will see you guys later.